Hey everybody, it's midweek. It's the week. It's the time of the week we call Whip It Out Wednesday. We do it. Whip It Out Wednesday. It's where we give a comp game in basketball, talk about what's going on in the forum, and see if we can't make you guys some money and have a little fun doing it. I keep saying I gotta cut these videos short, but somehow I just start rambling. All right, let's get to some of the stuff that we need to get out of the way first. Sports Forum Picks. I'll tell you what's on tap at the forum. www.sportsforumpicks.com For all you people that watch on YouTube, there's a lot of you guys out there, especially, I mean, on, on yeah, on YouTube. And that follow us on Twitter. Uh, the forum is kind of a place where you can uh, get some more things that we're doing. You get some more ideas. We're running a Super Bowl contest. I'm going to be giving out some Super Bowl squares next week. You know, the squares where you got to line up the numbers. So... My sponsored books, Bookmaker, Just Bet, DSI. If you're playing in there, I will definitely get you guys uh, some of them squares. Do a couple of contests or maybe just shoot some out there based on what people are posting. And we also have a Super Bowl thread on what people like about the game, who they like, etc. Give you an idea. Um, also, guys have asked about the, the promo that we're doing. Uh, it's still up there. It's um, <clears throat> going to run right through the Final Four up until Championship Monday. Um, it's pretty much two months, actually ten weeks, if you're doing it, you know, today. Uh, it will end, obviously, probably uh, March 1st, because that will be the last 30 days. But again, anything before that, you will get. So if you come in today, you get ten weeks. Ten weeks of a card for 300 bucks. It's, um, what does it come to? Um, 30 bucks a week. I mean, it's ten weeks. Uh, again, it's the silliest promo I ever did. I don't like doing it, because it's a fucking pain in the ass. But um, this will be the last one, and then I can get back to normal. Um, also on the forum, we have um, we have uh, a thread that I, I put up about betting props for the Super Bowl. I know you sick motherfuckers are betting all these crazy props. Go into the forum and read it. It'll tell you what to avoid, where you can maybe get an advantage. So hopefully that helps. Overall, reading in the forum is good. There's there's g good insight from people, and um, you guys should do well. You know, if you follow some of the things that go on. I do have a funny story for you. Um, last last Saturday, I met a friend of mine, and uh, <clears throat> I see him uh, occasionally. And uh, he's like, oh, Joe, Joe, we got to talk. I said, well, it's really important. So he stops over the house and uh, sitting at my kitchen table. He's crying like a fucking baby. I'm like, what's going on? So you ain't going to believe this. I found out that my, my first, my, you know, my son, my oldest son is gay. So I'm like, all right, what's the big deal? You know, it happens. It's fucking 2015. No, 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 I want grandkids, and I can't believe it. You know what I mean? I was in the service. I'm, you know, fucking man's man. I got a gay son. Fucking it happens. Don't worry about it. Comes back Monday morning. Chuck, I talked to you. Yeah, what's up? You know, still, have you gotten over that thing? I talked to my youngest son, Michael. He came clean with me. He told me he was gay. So let me get this straight. Your oldest son tells you he's gay on Friday. On Monday, your youngest son tells you he's gay on Monday. So all these years, you just found out both of your kids are gay? And he's like, yeah. I says, doesn't any of your kids like fucking pussy? He's like, I didn't tell you about my daughter? I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, so you think you, you, think you guys got problems when you lose games at the fucking buzzer or if you have Green Bay Moneyline? Poor guy. He ain't gonna have any grandkids. Speaking of eating the clam, I want to do a shout out to my boy and girl, Taco and Curly. Posters in my forum. You want to talk about uh, funny stuff. Uh, cool people out in Florida. Really good friends of mine. Clients of mine. Just really, really cool. Um, this maniac actually posted a picture in the forum of his wife. Uh, how can I put it? Eating the clam. Oh. Re receiving clam receiving getting eaten by a clam bottom line a girl was going down on her and he posted it in my forum how don't I give that guy a free play how don't I spend the weekend by that guy's house funny shit that goes on in that forum the people are fucking nuts alright let's do the normal shout outs Don Best okay that's the way guys gotta get lines Don Best follow him on twitter at donbestsports.com if you don't follow him you're a fucking idiot they're the best Don Best makes sense uh, my sponsored books, Bookmaker, Just Bet, DSI. Been around longer than fucking Rib Van Winkle's beard, okay? It's where you got to play. 
a place to play. You're going to get paid. You're going to get paid fast, and you're going to get opening lines. You know, as they come out, you'll get some. You'll get early numbers, and tons of Super Bowl props, like I say, which I discussed earlier. So um, definitely, spot, you know, follow the sponsors there, and we'll take care of you. Anybody, any new accounts that open up an account there, you'll get a free week of my plays. Um, I don't know. No more plugs. I don't want no plug. Let's talk about let's talk about basketball. Wednesday night, William and Mary plays Delaware. Eleven and six, William and Mary goes to three and fourteen. Delaware, Delaware fucking sucks. Here's what I'm looking at this game. And oh, by the way, Virginia clicked for us last week for you guys out there, so you should be happy. Let's try to do it again. I'm trying to stay at home in the state of Virginia, probably right through March Madness. Um, Virginia scored. Uh, Virginia West uh, William and Mary actually scores more points by ten, gives up less by ten. Um, rebounds advantage. Field goal percentage, 48 to 37. They're better at the free throw line. More steals, more three-pointers. Every every category you look at, William & Mary is that much better than Delaware. Right now, I see that line open at 8. It's been holding at 8. Um, and, and the reason why that line is 8, because head-to-head, you're going to see a matchup where William & Mary didn't play uh, Delaware very well. And that's fine, because whatever happened last year or whatever, two years ago, that fucking don't mean nothing. You know, I just know one thing. The last 10 games, William & Mary is 8-2, and two, covered um, 7 out of 10. Uh, Delaware, the last 10, they're 2-8, and eight, covered 3-7 three, uh, three and seven against the number. Delaware is just a bad team. William & Mary won for me on the road their last game and, and covered for me. So I, I like this team. I like William & Mary to be able to, 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 be able to handle Delaware. Uh, the last five games, Delaware is averaging, I think it's 64 points a game. William & Mary 79. What do I always say? You have to be able to find a way to make up these kind of points. If you can't find a way, or if you're looking to find a way, you're 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 searching for something that doesn't exist. Again, these games could lose. We've we've had games where you know teams shoot lights out and and you know threes go in and we lose the games. That's fine. It's part of gambling. We know that. But like I said, when I make my bets, I want to know that I've got all the cards stacked in my favor. If something fluky happens, it happens. It's just, you know, the name of the game. But I got too many categories that favor William and Mary to just fucking beat Delaware by, you know, 12, 14 or more, you know, without, without you know, just by showing up. So our play for Wednesday is going to be William and Mary. We're going to lay the points uh, over Delaware. And I think it's a really, really safe play. So we're going to do that. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the... Um, Super Bowl is coming around. Like I say, what I will do is uh, also on that program that I have on that, that $300 program for the next 10, uh, 10 weeks or two months, I will add anywhere between 7 to 10 Super Bowl props in into that package. It's going to be included in there. And again, it's not going to be who punts first or who fucking, you know, is the field going to be, you know, more than 50 yards or 40. That's all. That's all your guess bets. And you'll read about that. At Sports Forum Picks in the Facts Corner. We want to try to find matchups, be able to take advantage of a lot of head-to-head kind of stuff. Something where you can get, you know, the best bang for your buck. So, yeah, that'll be on our um, our card for uh, Super Bowl weekend. Uh, next week, what I think we'll do is on Friday, we'll go back to college basketball for a game on Friday or Saturday. Next Wednesday, I'll probably touch it based on maybe either basketball or maybe one prop. And then on the Friday before Super Bowl, probably have a college basketball and one other one. So you guys will get two free pop, pops, two free props for the Super Bowl over the next two weeks or, you know, three videos, however it is. And uh, But I'm not giving you the game winner, and I know who's going to win. Big bet for me. And I don't, I'm not a big guy that bets these big games, but this line is a mistake. Anyway, that's it. This is uh, Facts Man. Telling everybody, visit sportsforumpicks.com. That's www.sportsforumpicks.com. Um, what do you call it? Um, special shout out to my boy, uh, Larry Flint and Hustler Magazine, big follower. Um, he's a, uh, you know, he's, he's a stand up guy, even though he's in a fucking wheelchair. But that's his problem, not mine. Anyway, um, for everybody, Don Best, uh, Sports Forum Picks, Bookmaker, Just Bet, Hustler Magazine. All my friends from the adult bookshops cross-country that support this forum, have a great day. Good luck, and as always, go fuck yourself.